What are we going to play today? Let's learn the construction of the leprechaun's pickup and assemble it. First, let's install a frame. Hooray, you've got a new block. Let's install it right now. This is the basic part of a car. The frame carries all the other parts. Now let's install golden wheels. Tap the block to install it. These wheels turn any road they roll upon to a happy one. Let's install the engine of eternal luck. The engine turns the golden wheels of the pickup, ensuring incredible luck on the path of the leprechaun. Let's install the tank with the extract of four-leafed clover. The tank holds the four-leaf clover extract needed to run the engine. The tank is bottomless, so the leprechaun doesn't need to fill it up. We need to install the vial with fairy dust. The vial with fairy dust provides magic energy for the pickup and emits a lovely rainbow glow. We need to install wooden seats. The seats are made of special soft wood so that the leprechaun can sit on them comfortably. And now we need to install a body. Body is the exterior part of the car, which is attached to the frame. These are the controls of a car. They include a steering wheel, pedals, a gearbox, and a dashboard. Let's install them. All these things are necessary for a driver to control the car. Now let's install a pot of gold. Leprechauns adore gold and keep it in a special pot, which they always carry with them. We need to install the magnet hand. The magnet hand helps the leprechaun to collect gold coins and put them in the pot. And now let's install green lights. Green lights illuminate the road in front of the leprechaun's pickup, emitting pleasant emerald light. Hooray! Let's learn the construction of the Candy Hunter car and assemble it. First, let's install a frame. This is the basic part of a car. The frame carries all the other parts. Now let's install the dreadful roots. Dreadful roots help the car reach high speed and drive where other cars can't. Let's install the magic furnace. The magic furnace provides magic energy for the car with the help of candy fuel. Now let's install the bottomless jar of treats. The bottomless jar of treats contains fuel for the magic furnace and holds the unlimited amount of candies. Let's install the generator of evil laughter. It helps the car get rid of excess holiday energy, thus generating evil laughter. Now let's install the bodywork of the Candy Hunter car. This bodywork is covered with mysteries and legends. Rumors tell that inside the car there's a dashboard with inscriptions in a language no one knows. Let's install the antique seats. Despite their age, they're still comfortable for their owner. Now let's install the gleaming lights. Their glow makes everything around darker. Don't stop!
Let's learn the construction of the bus of knowledge and assemble it. First, let's install a frame. This is the basic part of a car. The frame carries all the other parts. Now install the magnetic wheels. With magnetic wheels, the bus can not only drive on the ground, but also fly. Now let's install the Brain Forge 2 engine. The Brain Forge 2 engine spins the wheels and gives the energy, which makes both the bus and your fantasy fly high. Now let's install the battery. The battery helps start the engine and provides power for the headlights and other systems. Now let's install a fuel tank. The fuel tank contains the fuel of the bus, which consists of 10% of talent and 90% of labor. Let's install an interior of the car. This is the main interior space of the car to accommodate passengers and a driver. And now we need to install a body. Body is the exterior part of the car, which is attached to the frame. Now let's install the solar panels. The solar panels absorb sunlight and provide electricity. Let's install the Globe of Knowledge. The Globe of Knowledge indicates the best route to the goal. Now let's install plasmatic headlights. The plasmatic headlights light the road in front of the bus and attract the attention of passers-by. We need to install the mental boosters. Mental Boosters Idea Plus help the bus reach the speed of thought. Keep it up! Let's learn the construction of Santa's sleigh. Drag the parts to their places. These are the runners of the sleigh. Install them. The runners allow the sleigh to glide over the snow, which helps Santa during takeoff and landing. Now install the Acceleration Generator X1000. The Acceleration Generator X1000 helps the sleigh read supersonic speed, allowing Santa to bring presents to all children in time. Let's install the fuel tank of the generator. The fuel tank is where magic fairy dust is stored, which is necessary for the work of the acceleration generator. Install the body of the sleigh. The body carries all the other parts of the sleigh. This is where Santa sits and the presents are stored. This is the Super Deer 2 engine. Install it. This is an improved version of previous Super Deer 1 engine, now based on two reindeer powers. Thanks to the enhanced engine on double reindeer thrust, the sleigh takes off and lands with ease. Now install the invisibility field generator, Sleigh Veil Z. It is needed so that planes flying by do not see Santa and distract him from work. Install the reins. They are needed for Santa to control the sleigh. This is an LED lighting for horns. Install it. It is attached onto the horns of the reindeer and lights the way for the sleigh. Now install the bells. The sound of the bells creates a real Christmas mood. Drag the bag with presents onto the sleigh.
The bag contains the presents that Santa delivers to all the children on Earth. This bag is much bigger inside than it looks outside. That's all. <gasps> Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Don't stop. <laughs> 